What's going on guys? Welcome back. My name is Brandon. Today we've got a fun and exciting episode. There's a lot of talk on the internet about people who are buying welders and they're saying that they're not getting what they're paying for. So let's say you buy a 200 amp welder. That welder should be putting out 200 amps. A lot of people are saying that they're not. Well today we're going to test it and I'm going to show you guys how to test your welder to make sure you're getting what you're paying for. Stick around. Here I've got a 200 amp four process MIG welder. This welder does MIG, does spool MIG, does stick, and it does lift TIG. So yes, you can actually MIG weld aluminum with this without a spool gun. The exciting part is, is I've actually done this test on this machine and I know that this machine puts out its full 200 amps rated output because we tested it. Another great thing, I'm actually giving away this machine to one of my lucky subscribers. And I explain in the video I'll put up above and down below how you can be eligible to win this. I'm going to announce the winner on October 10th, 2022, and I'm going to ship this off to one of my lucky subscribers. So go make sure you watch that video because I want to give this away to one of you. But if you don't win this, I'm doing another one right after it. But let's get right into it. So the first welder I'm going to be trying out, guys, is my MIG Pro 250. I'm running 45 thousandths 5356 aluminum wire. We will max out the amperage. So we'll go all the way to 250 amps. You can see I've got it set for... 45 thousandths aluminum. You can see I'm on Synergic MIG and we've got 21 volts. Now, as far as inductance, I'm gonna to try to set these, all these to zero. Hut start, zero. Run in, I'll set that for zero. Burn back time, zero. Inductance, zero. So run in might be a little difficult on zero, but we'll try it. It's a lot of amperage. Now that we got the machine maxed out, I'll take out my digital clamp on amp meter. I bought this at Harbor Freight. This isn't a paid endorsement or any other thing like that. Uh, it cost me almost a hundred bucks, but I did it so that we can test these welders and find out if they uh, live up to the expectations because, you know, if I'm paying money for a 200 amp welder, I better be getting 200 amps. That's my opinion on this. So, and this tool will help uh, you guys make an informed decision of what you want to buy. This right here clamps over the wire and it senses the amperage that's running through it and then it will read out on the display. This meter has a uh, high and low so it'll detect the highest voltage it reads and it will detect the lowest voltage it reads. Uh, you can see right now we're on DC volts. Uh, I think I hit function again. Now we're on AC volts. Okay we don't want volts, we want amps. So there's AC amps, DC amps. That's what we want right there, DC amps. Then we toggle it to minimum, maximum, min, max, there we go. So now it'll just sense maximum voltage and it'll hold it there. So now what we do is I've got the machine set on DC electrode positive. So I just take that clamp on meter and run it right over that and measure the amperage. Now if the machine is set to 250 amps, this meter better read 250 amps, right? And the screen should read it too. The problem is I've got a little tiny eighth inch welding coupon that probably has a amperage of around 120 and I'm gonna be putting 250 into it. It's probably gonna burn up pretty quick. Now aluminum's bad stuff to weld guys, so you wanna make sure that you've got a mask on, a respirator, and that you're not breathing in all that garbage from the aluminum. It's not good for your health. I've wiped this piece down with a stainless steel wire brush, but I didn't get any fancier than that. Normally I'd wipe it with acetone. I don't really care because I'm not welding anything. I'm just current checking it for amperage. That's it. I'm set it for 250 amps. Here we go. I want to double check all my settings again. Inductant zero, hot start zero, run in zero, burn back time. And the reason I want to set those for zero, let's say I set my hot start for two. Well, that's adding more amperage at the beginning of the weld, so it's going to show a higher value on our amp meter. If I set everything to zero, theoretically, if I'm draw asking for 120 amps, it shouldn't exceed that. It should read 120 on the meter, and it should read 120 on the machine. 
So what I'm going to do now is we will focus on this. This should read 250 amps if this machine is fully capable of doing it. All right, so the maximum amperage that we saw on this is 241. And when I looked at the display, it looked like it was right around that at the same time as well. So let's turn up our inductance. Let's turn up our hot start a little bit and see if we can get that number to rise up a little bit more than 241. And I turn our inductance up to three. Let's do our hot start to three. Let's do our run in. We'll set our run in at three and we'll increase our burn back time. Burn back is at the end of the weld. That shouldn't change anything because that's actually after you let off the trigger. All right, let's reset this. AC amps, we'll go to min max. DC amps, minimum maximum right there. Let's see if we can uh, increase it now over the 241 that we just saw. All right guys, I gotta wait for some of this smoke to clear before I talk, but yeah, you can see we just reached 259. Well, I think I consider that a success, guys. It's rated for 250 amps, and we saw a maximum amperage of 259. So it's at least putting out all of that. And what I saw on the dial seemed to be consistent to what this was. But let's test this welder as well. This is the MIG 205DS. I'll uh, try to level off all the settings on this and we'll do the same thing with this machine and see if this one performs in a similar manner. I know that this one uh, performed almost identical. And if anything, this was actually putting out maybe a little bit more amperage than what was showing on the instrument. This is what you get when you just stand here, just like this guy's is you're looking up over at that meter there and there. I'm literally just standing here doing this, holding it. <laughs> Pretty, huh? And we will max it all the way out. 205 amps, 22.3 volts. Use a 30 thousandths wire. And we're just gonna bury it into this piece of steel and see what happens. And min max, there's max, there's minimum minimum maximum there we go now i just want to verify that all my settings are zeroed out material thickness voltage inductance inductance is on five we don't want that so we want inductance at zero all right here we go All right, so the instruments are 196 maximum amperage. Let me reset it and we'll watch it again. I would say that's pretty conclusive. I see 203 amps on that and this machine is rated for 205. And as I was actually welding, I was watching this up here and I actually saw like 203 or so amps up in there. I saw the 200 range, so I think that that's pretty conclusive that at least this machine and this machine perform as expected. I haven't tried this new one, which is the 2050, but I have no reason to believe that it won't. And that's all there is to it, guys. That's just a quick test that you guys can do to make sure that you're getting what you paid for. In our instance, as far as I'm concerned, these welders do as they're advertised to do. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. If this is something that you like, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so that you can watch that video and be eligible to win that welder because that's going to make someone a nice piece of kit. Until next week, guys, I will see you then. Take care, stay safe, like, comment, subscribe. New videos every Friday. See ya.